Hi, this is Nings Matthew, and today we're going to make a uh, wrapped, uh, wire wrapped garnet necklace. I've already made one here. They're like just uh, seven by seven millimeter um, faceted garnet beads, and um, it's it's a little bit of an advanced project, so it's something that you want to have a little bit of experience with wire wrapping before you try it out. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm working with um, 11 7 millimeter by 7 millimeter garnet beads. You could use a bigger bead or a smaller bead, but if you do, you're going to have to adjust the amount of wire you use. Um, you may need more if you have bigger beads because it's going to be a bigger to uh, wrap around. I'm also using a 26 gauge wire. I'm using about a, a, a two and a half feet. Um, and uh, the most important thing you always want to do is make sure that it fits through your beads, which it does. I've already checked all my beads against my wire. Um, and so the first thing you're going to do in about four inches and on one side of the wire when you get that measured so you have your four inches you're just going to take your round nose pliers and just do a wrap loop right in at that four inches okay so you're just going to do a regular loop like that and I will have a link if you need more help have a link if you need more help with uh, wire wrap loops. And then once you have that, then just take the longer piece of wire um, and just wrap it around the uh, base of the shorter wire. Okay? Just about two or three times. Okay? And that will be sort of half, that'll be the part that of the necklace that will attach to your chain. Okay, so now this is what you will have. All right? and then you have that four inch piece of wire. Okay, and on that four inch piece of wire, you're going to um, just string on all your beads and you don't have to worry about being very careful about what they look like yet. You will alternate them and how they lay after um, you have them on and when you start wrapping them. But for now, it's just a matter of getting them on your, your wire. And you will notice that they will end up sort of lying a certain way anyway. Okay, so I have my 11 beads on right now. And what you, you can notice already that they've sort of just ended up laying the way they're supposed to lay very easily. So this is how you'd want to have them. Okay, you don't want them that close though. You want them a little bit more spaced out because we are going to be doing some wrapping in between every bead, okay? And here, uh, by your wrap loop, you want a little space as well. So you just want to slide your beads down the, the um, just down the wire a little bit, okay? So that you would have some more space. And again, if they come out of place, that's okay. Basically, all you're doing now is you're just sort of eyeballing it to make sure that you have enough space and you want them sort of evenly spaced and so forth. Okay, and at this point, um, you're just going to just eyeball it and decide how where you want to do your other wrap loop because the other wrap loop is going to attach the other part of the chain. So this is these are the places where you're going to have the chain attached to it. So give yourself some space again um, on the end, okay, so that you have a little bit, probably about a quarter of an inch. So just go to the other end and just do another wrap loop, okay? And again, you want a little bit of space between your beads, not too, too much, uh, enough so that you can wrap between. So then you have your, your loop, and then just wrap a few times. You're gonna wrap a few times, and then push them together. Not to wrap too many times because you're going to um, fill in that space with uh, the other wire as you wrap. So just turn it back and tighten it. And then you can just lay it right down. Again, I'm just going to flip it so that it's because um, I'm going to start wrapping with the other longer part of the wire. So now you want to have the five beads on top and the uh, six on the bottom. So that's the, the ratio. Okay, so just uh, adjusting it. they're laying flat and they're lined up the same way. So if they're not, just make sure they are because that's where you want them. Okay, you can use your pliers or just your fingers. 
So this is what you have so far. Okay, so you have the five on top, what I mean by five, and then six on the bottom. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to start uh, wrapping between your beads. It will come in out of place when you're wrapping them, so not to worry. You'll just have to, the first, uh, the first time you wrap it, it's going to be a little bit more unstable, and then as you go, you'll find it gets tighter and tighter. So that's why you have the space. So the first thing you're going to do is just take that long wire and then just go, you're going to go right underneath that first bead, right like that, okay, and then just right up and around the bead, underneath the bead literally, so right underneath it like that. Now try and make this first pass over really good because that will give you a good place to start. So this is what the back side looks like and then this is the front. Okay, And then the other bead slid down so just bring it back up and make sure that wire is pushed to the side because you want the beads to you know, get, get to a certain, you want them to be close enough so that they're not too far away when you're wrapping them. Okay, so this is what you would have. Stabilize it and then just right around bringing it closer if it comes out of place, again, you're just going to readjust it. And this is where you really want to take your time. Okay, you don't want to rush this part because you want to make, this is, this is where you're getting your first, it's almost like a template for where you're going to continue to wrap. So just take your time with this part. Okay, so this is what you would have. And then you're just going to slide the next bead down. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. Just grab hold of it and then just right up and around. Again, push them together if you need to. Alright, and this is what the back side looks like. Now, if you're not, you, you should continue to look at the back side because what can sometimes happen is you think you've wrapped it around, but you may have dropped it down a little bit too far, so it may not be pushed up against the wires as much as it should be. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And then you're going to take the next bead and then just push it against there and right around. Same concept. And sorry if my fingers are in the way, but these beads are tiny. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And then you're just going to push the next bead in. And just same thing. Just push it right against there. And again, this is the this may be a little bit of a frustrating part because like I said, they are still moving. You are having to really, really readjust them and make sure that they're staying in place. So now that that's done, you're going to go to the next one, push it in closer, just slide it up the wire, and then right around, and then the other one. What you want to do is that you want to look at the beads you have on this side as well to make sure that you are giving yourself some, some room. And I might be getting a little bit uh, short on space there, so I'm just going to make sure that these are pushed up so that there's a certain amount of space that every all the beads get a sort of equal amount of space. Okay, so that, I'm just going to push that one up there and then hold on and right around. So this is what you would have, and then the next one, pushing it up, right around. Close to the end of the first wire wrapping, it's going to go a little bit quicker. And then right down around again, and then right around again, and then we're at the end. So when we get here, we're just going to wrap it around two times around the um, just below the wrap loop, and then we're just going to start going back the other way. 
So we just did it once and we've already started our template so it's kind of going to be the same way. We're just going to go right up and around and again your beads might move forward a little bit but that's okay because um, you're going to adjust it afterwards. Okay, so then you're going down around the next one and then down around the next one and then up and you're, basically you're just going around each bead exactly the same way as you did before. You're going around each bead. And I'll show you the back side again so you can see. You can already see it's starting to get stable. And there's the back side. And it's not really neat yet. Uh, we will sort of adjust all that at the end once we continue on. So we're going to continue. Now what this, you're basically, you're going to continue to repeat this same step over and again until you use up all your wire. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go round and a little bit faster, like I said, because we do have the stability that now the, the beads are not flopping all over the place anymore. So, all right, around and around the last bead again. And when you get there, you're just going to wrap twice, okay? And you're just going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go right around the beads, so right around the top. And you'll notice that you're getting the wraps in between. That's what you want. That's the look you're looking for. Okay. All right, and continue on. And you've already got your template, so it's sort of guiding you where you want to go. So right around each one. Right around. Alright, and you're back to the beginning. Okay, once around, and then you're going to start again backwards the same way. Right, around each bead. And they will get in place better, a little bit better for you. And I'll show you the back side again at the end so that you can see what it's what it looks like. So I, I don't have much wire left. So this is as much as we're going to be able to do. And I'll show you what the back side looks like. So this is what it looks like. Now they're a little bit separated and everything and we will squeeze those together to make them look a little bit neater. It's not necessary but I just like to do it. When we get here we're going to wrap a few more times around there. Around that uh, the, uh, the loop. Just below the loop. And you basically have your your necklace, the wrap, the, the wires, uh, the beads parts wrapped already. So now you're just going to look at everything, and what you can do is start to curve it. Now it's really gentle that you want to do this. You don't want to go too aggressively with this because again the beads are tight, and they're when you if you especially if you're using anything like a glass or or a gemstone bead, it's very easy to crack. So you just want to do a gentle sort of guiding it into um, more of a, a, a curved position, okay? Just so it will hang better as a necklace, okay? And now you just want to go to the back, take your chain nose pliers, and then you just squeeze those wires together. You can just squish them together. This is not necessary, but it's just something that, you know, it just makes it look a little bit nicer from the back side as well as the front, okay? So just squeezing those together a little bit so that you have a little bit straighter. It's not going to be, you know, exactly perfect, but it is a little bit neater. All right, and then just continue to. If there's any beads that are sort of sticking up straight, very do just very very gently, very gently. You don't want to. Um, you just don't want to break those beads after you've worked so hard to get them together. So that would be the completed wire wrapped part and now all you have to do is uh, you could use a finished chain and then just what you do is just take your finished chain and then just cut it in the center and this would be where your clasp is. I just have two three millimeter um, jump rings but you can use smaller or bigger whatever you have as long as it fits through your loop so just open up a jump ring and then just attach your your, um, your pendant
So this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.